Hello everyone, my name is Jared, and welcome to the Anime Ashtray. I know I've been gone a while, but I'm back today with another manga first impressions video for you all today. So, when I say slice of life, what images does that bring to your mind? For most people, it would probably be an anime or a manga set in a school with a cast of teenage, teenage or young adult characters dealing with mundane teenage or young adult issues. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love Slice of Life. It is, Slice of Life is my thing. But, uh, you know, every now and then it can get kind of dull. The same old thing over and over and over again. That's where this manga comes in. The manga we're going to be talking about today is Planetess. This manga takes your stereotypical slice of life tropes and shoots them out the airlock. Literally. It is a space slice of life. Right? You put space in front of anything and it makes it better. I'm not a huge sci-fi fan, but this is what they call hard sci-fi, which means it's very realistic. It is about a the crew of the DS-12 toy box. The crew consists of Hachimaki, who is a dreamer. He, you know, he dreams of bigger and better things for himself, being a hero of space, and etc. And then you have Yuri, who's a quiet man dealing with a tragedy from his past. And then you have the female tomboy, Fee, who I can relate to, not because I'm a tomboy, obviously, but she is a chain smoker, and all she wants to do is find a place to smoke. I absolutely love that character. Now, what do these people do in space, in their DS-12 toy box, as they call their ship? Well, they make space safer from ev for everyone else. They are space janitors, basically. They fly around orbit, cleaning up debris, making it safe for, well, safer, because they can't ever get all the debris that's out there, safer for space travel. Now, like I said, it's set in the year 2070, and it is a very, very, very realistic version or, or, you know, a vision of what Earth is going to be like in the year 2070. They deal, they don't deal with it, but they mention some of the, uh, uh, you know, environment, environmental issues that we have right now, you know, the rising of the sea levels, etc. But they do it in all in a very real way. You know, you're not going to get any, like, laser guns or aliens or warp drive, etc., etc., I personally don't know Jack, Jack Squat about space, um, but I get a feeling when I'm reading this that it's very real. I know I keep saying that, but it's just the over. That's kind of the overarching feeling you get when when you read it. It's just that this is like looking into the future almost. It's very much what could what our world could be like in the year 2070, 2075 where space travel is a, a, a normal thing. You know, people fly from Japan to England, and they, instead of flying over the ocean, they go up into the atmosphere and go through space. There's uh, bases on the moon. Uh, they go into, there's a couple of characters that they talk about that have, it's rare, but they're born on the moon, which means that they can never really go to Earth because their body isn't adjusted for gravity, which is something completely different, but I've read the first volume, and there's four volumes to this, all packed into these nice, beautiful omnibuses from Dark Horse, two volumes per, and like I said, I've read the first volume, and what stands out to me, each chapter is called a phase, they call it a phase, phase one, phase two, blah, 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 instead of chapters, and each phase starts off with a beautiful, beautiful, fully colored pages. Just a couple of them. The entire chapter is not fully colored. But the first few pages are always fully colored. And it is 
brilliant. These full color pages are just absolutely phenomenal. And this is this is just a completely different manga than what I'm used to. I'm not a huge sci-fi fan, but this hard sci-fi, as they call it, this very real, very gritty, not really gritty, but very mechanical space travel that they do just really interests me. It really hooked me because it's almost, like I said, it's almost like looking into the future. It's very, very real, which I keep saying that, but that's just it, right? It's real. You feel for these characters. You you, you believe that they could exist in the year 2070 or 2075. You believe that this could be an actual job that people do. Because, you know, something the size of a screw, something the size of a penny, something the size of, you know, a grain of sand in orbit, traveling at that high velocity could really, really screw you up. So they're doing an, they're uns, unsung heroes cleaning up orbit to make s space travel safer for everyone. I'm absolutely, absolutely loving this so far, if you can't tell. Uh, it's just... It's completely different than anything I've ever read before. I know it's a classic. A lot of people have read it before, but it's great. And I'm definitely going to be doing a final thoughts of this whenever I'm finished with it. Like I said, there's only four volumes, so I'm going to be done with it very soon. But so far, Planet Planet uh, Planetess, I have a little bit of a problem pronouncing the name. Planetess is outstanding. If you like slice of life, if you like sci-fi, if you like real sci-fi, Give this a shot. It's a completely different spin on the Slice of Life drama. If you're kind of like me and Slice of Life gets stale every now and then, definitely check this out. It's worth your time so far. I'll definitely do a final thoughts video once I'm finished with it. But so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. That's my first impressions of Planet Tess. It's uh, f fantastic. It's definitely going to be a top in my top 10 for a very long time. Well, that's it for another First Impressions. I know I've been gone for a while. I'm sorry about that. But I'm definitely going to be making more content here in the future. If you want to keep up, keep up with what I'm reading, I have linked my anime list in the description. My Twitter is in the description as well, if you would like to follow me there. And until next time, if it's worth reading, it's worth buying. I'll see you all later.